He is a fake and a fraud, and he should be reprimanded. We are here today to hear the case of Jonathan Tate versus the state. The plaintiff, Mr. Tate, is accusing uh, the defendant, Mr. Blake Mansfield, of stolen valor. Mr. Tate, you may present your case. Your Honor, today we are dealing with a very serious offense. <clears throat> the plaintiff here, Mr. Mansfield, has been parading around in a military uniform, making videos mimicking military homecomings. This is not just a simple act of creativity anymore. <clears throat> this is a blatant lie and a disrespect to the men and women who sacrifice their lives every day to protect this country. And right here, I have some evidence for you. Oh wow, very interesting. Yes, this is a photo of Mr. Mansfield right here. <clears throat> In his, his so-called military uniform. <clears throat> As you can see from the photo, there are no patches, no name tags, and nothing indicating that he is even in any branch of the military. Also, if you take a look at his hair, his haircut, his facial hair, as you can see, those are clearly not military regulation. <clears throat> this man is a fraud, and he deserves to be reprimanded accordingly. Uh, can I see that photograph one more time? Yes. We're gonna submit that into evidence. Uh, Mr. Mansfield, you have heard the accusations against you. Um, please present your case to the court. Thank you, Your Honor. I stand here in front of you today, not as a soldier, but as an actor and content creator. Our videos are designed to inspire, educate, and entertain. They depict moments of military homecomings as these are universal moments of joy, love, and relief. Stolen valor is a term used to describe someone who is impersonating military personal for personal gain, whether it be for recognition, to claim benefits, or to receive medals they didn't earn. I have never claimed to be a soldier. In my videos, there are no real names used or patches, as Mr. Tate mentioned. We do this because we make these videos to honor the real military families and to give them comfort while their loved ones are away and waiting for them to return. I understand the seriousness of Mr. Tate's accusations, but my intent was never to deceive or disrespect. My hope is that through our work, we may be able to touch even just one person to make them smile or to give them ease while their loved ones are away. That we as Americans can honor the brave men and women that are sacrificing themselves for our country, that we can come together Thank you, Mr. Mansfield. Uh, before I make my final decision, do either of you have any further evidence or witnesses to further your case? Um, Your Honor, I have no further evidence, but um, I have kind of a personal tale. So my nephew is actually currently serving uh, as a Marine in the military, and I've seen Mr. Mansfield's videos, and frankly, they are disrespectful to the families of those serving, and he, he is a fake and a fraud, and he should be reprimanded. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, order in the court, Mr. Tate. Um, Mr. Mansfield, do you have any further evidence or witnesses? Your Honor, I have no further evidence. However, I would like to take this time for my wife and business partner, Jamie Mansfield, to share some words. Thank you, Your Honor. I've prepared some words because I am not very good at public speaking. Sure. Your Honor, thank you for taking the time to hear my statement. While I sympathize with Mr. Tate and what he is saying, I have to disagree. We get countless messages and comments from people telling us how our videos have touched them and helped them while their loved ones are away. How our videos have made them smile. We didn't, while we didn't earn the right to wear the uniform and didn't sacrifice ourselves for our country, we hope that our videos our reenactments can honor those that do and did for them. Thank you. Thank you for that. Hmm. After reviewing the evidence and hearing both sides, it's pretty clear to me that Mr. Mansfield's actions do not meet the legal definition of stolen valor. Uh, his intention was not to impersonate a soldier for personal gain, but to create content that resonates with military families and honors them. While I understand your concerns, Mr. Tate, the law is clear. 
Mr. Mansfield's actions, while possibly controversial, are, are not criminal. Um, in fact, I believe they reflect a kind of heroism, using art and to bring hope and joy to those who need it. Uh, so this case is dismissed.